the same can make it so that we really fucking get this shit. So let's go. Let's go. It's our decisions, not our conditions, that shape our destiny. And as you are all here right now, I'm sure you'll agree that making good decisions can be one of our hardest tests, you see. And so the quality of our life comes down to the quality of our decisions. And the quality of our decisions comes down to what? Well, the quality of the questions that we ask ourselves. You know, the things that we ask ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Like when the shit hits the fan, is it, why must I, or how do I face this? Do you choose to resist what you cannot change, or do you choose to focus on the things you can rearrange? Is life happening to you? Are you a whim to its will? Or is life happening for you by the force of your will? Be still. Just for a moment. Listen to this. Because if you listen carefully, this wisdom will lead you to bliss. So back to resistance. What you resist will persist because where focus goes, energy flows. That was said fucking years ago, so really by now everyone ought to know. But hey ho. There's just another reminder that what you focus on grows. And all resistance comes down to a base emotion of fear. Normally a fear of the loss of the, the things that you hold dear. Maybe a fear of failure or a fear of success. Many hidden fears, many hard to detect, many hard to reject. And the only way to conquer fear is hunger for something more. A greater desire for something better, an innate impulse to grow and explore and discover your full potential that lies in store. You see, people tend to have so much passion for the things that they don't want, don't they? They'll tell you with so much energy everything that they want to avoid, devoid of a desire to move towards the fantasies with which they've toyed. Motive really matters. Are you driven by the need to avoid potential pain or are you driven by the thought of all the pleasure you can gain? See, Tony is not your guru. Just a random guy that you can choose to fix your life, making you a better you, not true. The only guru that can do that for you is the ancient sage that lies within you. All you need is within you now. You just have to reach within and you will clearly see how. And although he's not your guru, Tony can help you to make lasting change. He can shake you up and flip things around and help you to rearrange. Because really, be honest, are you truly having the time of your life? Or is life a struggle, a constant battle filled with pain and strife? Have you got on the ultimate edge? Have you found your inner strength to realise your grandest vision? Would you go to any length? Or are you so afraid of death that you're afraid to live? Or are you scared about giving the special gifts you came to give? Have you even told yourself that you've got nothing to give? Or even try to convince yourself that you have no reason to live. Because that's fucking bullshit. If ever I heard it, I've heard some mad things, but that's just absurd shit. You, 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 you. You have so much to give. So many reasons to live. This life is a gift, the golden privilege, and linking each one of us is an invisible bridge. A naked bond to the eye ties us together through time, so all the wisdom within Tony lies too within you and I. But let's just keep on repeating it a few more times because repetition is the mother of all learning. Our intuition is returning, ambition and yearning to win this game. All it takes is a simple reframe, deframe and rename, continue to trade, move from the slow into the fast lane. Accelerate now to break through your pain, regenerate now to take hold of the race. You've done it! Wow! Celebrate now with a glass of champagne or a line of cocaine or any other distraction you normally use to numb that pain. Fuck. What a shame. Slipped back to old habits. PC within reach, but you just couldn't grab it. Repeating behaviours that keep you entrapped. The only saviour is you. That's a fact. Just know that you have to master your emotions or your emotions will master you. You have to take control of your mind if you want to see things through. Stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. If you want to master any skill, then you should look at getting a coach. Somebody who can really help you to figure things out. Somebody who can help you move past all the fear, the uncertainty, and the doubt. Honestly, that's what Tony did for me. Helped me to see with clarity exactly where I had to be, how to set myself free and find the faith to trust in me. 
So this is why I wrote this poem for you, because now all I want to do is help you too. So tell me, what's your driving force? What really fuels your fire? What is it that heats your body up with a fire of desire? What future vision can inspire you to climb higher? What ideal lifestyle would you most admire? How many different ways could you find to inspire? What's the grandest version of yourself to which you could possibly aspire? Or what kind of attributes would that version of you require? Integrity, honesty, wisdom and love, strength, courage, faith, bravery, or all of the above. Get clear on what you need to make success what you receive, then step into that you that is living through your truth. Because it's always up to you which path you take, but all the choices you make are what dictate your fate. So choose to live your life with passion. Choose to live your life in a beautiful state, a grateful, playful, generous, loving state, because when you put yourself in these states, you treat everybody else better. When you live each day with that love shining luminously through you, you bring a light into the dark night that illuminates the truth. That it doesn't matter who you are. We each have the same power within. There's nothing you can do wrong. Nothing you've done before has ever been a sin. It's time to take all these limiting beliefs and throw them exactly where they belong. Straight in the bin. Cool, so now we've done that. I guess we're almost finished here, but there's just a few more things. Are you doing it incantations? Are you raising your vibration? Are you fulfilling all six of your human needs? And ensuring it's not just your body that you continue to feed, but that you expand your mind with the things that you read and you nurture your soul by watering your seeds, ensuring that you're growing in every way, contributing to the greater good each and every damn day, changing this whole world with the words that you say, creating brand new futures in this game that we play, this game we've called life. So in conclusion, you have to make your life your masterpiece. Step beyond the demand of the moment and design the life that you deserve. Tap into the power you have in reserve and discover all the unique ways in which only you can serve. You have to get crystal clear on your desired results and even clearer on your purpose. You have to make a massive action plan, then the solutions begin to surface. Because we all have the power that we need to create any life that we desire. We each have the tools to reach the top. We were each born with wings to take us higher. It's just that we were never taught how to fly or what that would require. But we're here together, learning and watching young eagles preparing to soar is truly a sight to admire. So thank you, all of you, for coming here today and doing the things that you need to do to consciously create a better you. I know the work's not easy, but trust me, the rewards will be many. And before I go, let us all take a moment to cultivate an extreme attitude of gratitude for the one and only Mr. Tony Robbins, for he has inspired me, and he continues to work tirelessly each and every day, relentless in his mission to make this world a better place by helping millions of people to create their own brighter days. A vision that I can clearly see coming true. Right here, right now, with you, today. Thank you.